much has changed in recent years when it comes to teenagers and their use of technology. Many of today's teens spend most of their time with their faces buried in a smartphone or gaming device. Social media and children, don't get me started. How can we improve this situation? I do not know. How can we tell people to put their phones down, put their life away from all of this stuff? Mums and dads who would much prefer that their children's faces were buried in books suspect the cause of this phenomenon is indeed a technology addiction. Just 12% of teens say they have no mobile phone of any type and no access to one. That means 88% of teens have access to phones. Teenagers in this modern society own not just one, but numerous technology devices. I own an iPhone, a laptop and an iPad. Samsung S5 and PS4. Um, I own a phone, I have an iPhone 6. But phones do more than simply text, of course. Facebook and Instagram are the most popular and frequently used social media platforms among teens. Um, sorry, what were you saying? I was on Instagram. Instagram is love, Instagram is life. So just all social media apps. Yeah, yeah, okay. My favorite app would be Instagram. And I probably use Messenger and Instagram the most on my phone. Jurassic World! I'm level 20, and I'm a day off Tyrannosaurus Rex. I've been dreaming about this moment my whole life, and um, it's finally come true. 92% of teens report going online daily, including 24% who say they go online almost constantly. What are those? They are my Crocs. Teens now have many more options when it comes to technology. So it makes sense as to why they use it so often. I don't know, 36 hours a day? Every day. A lot. Most of the time. <laughs> I use my phone quite a bit um, to call people and stuff, like a quarter of the time of the day. 71% of teens use more than one social networking site. Teens have missed so many opportunities and experiences due to being constantly obsessed with technology. I was at a One Direction concert and I was Snapchatting and when the Snapchat finished I went to go put it up and I was too busy looking down at my phone and Harry took off his top and I missed it so opportunity lost. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I'm, oh, I was back in England at Christmas and I was on my phone messaging my friends here in Australia and my cousin told everyone that she was pregnant and I missed that. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Text, text, text. That's all they think about. But are all those hours on the phone and Facebook turning teenagers into screen-enslaved social inadequates? Personally, I think teenagers use their phone too much. Every time they go meet up with a friend, they're just on their phone. It's like, you're meant to be communicating. Communication is the key. Like, talk to your friend, they're right there. That's the whole point you went to the house. Not to look at Instagram or Facebook all day, okay? Yes, I do. Like, we're always on them. I'm always got most of the time. Put down your phone on the rare occasion that your parents want to have a licensed conversation with you. And if they don't want to have a licensed conversation with you, then still put down the phone. Go and speak to mum and dad. Say, hi, how are you going? Why do I do like Facebook? As if generally spending their waking hours worded to the phones wasn't enough. This problem has gotten so severe and harmful to teenagers over the past few years that there are now several advertisements, documentaries and YouTube videos persuading people to limit their technology use. This media we call social is anything but when we open our computers and it's our doors we shut. Stop it! In the basket, please. What am I supposed to do? Get off the phone!